So we need to transition the whole of the energy market, not just parts of it. And that means looking at the existing companies, what they're doing and what their transition plans are. You'd asked me three and a half years ago when I signed Net Zero into law that 90% of the world's GDP would be under a target of some form to achieve Net Zero. I simply wouldn't have believed you. you know, Net Zero has gone viral. What we need to ensure now is that the delivery and implementation of uh, Net Zero uh, also goes viral. Transitioning out of a crisis is about two things, really. One is we must accelerate the energy transition, and at the same time, that transition needs to be an orderly transition. People understand now the need to move from conventional energy to sustainable energy, and I think the experience will accelerate that transition, and that can only be a good thing. So to me, transitioning out of crisis clearly relates to uh, the last couple of years. We've had the energy price spike, we've had uh, the end of COVID and the ruptures to the supply chains, and then of course this appalling aggression on Ukraine by Russia. This could be the last ever energy crisis. From here on, uh, investment in renewables in a clean energy system could free countries from the problems of this volatile fossil fuel world. One of my takeaways from me this week is is that we all agree, I think, on what the end game is, where we need to get to, but there are some very different perspectives on how we get there. So transitioning out of this energy crisis is, is, is critical and very important. In our industry, it means that we need more renewables. You know, renewables is very important for energy security. International Energy Week is really important because it's a place where you can bring that environmental imperative and the security agenda together and think about it in a kind of holistic way. I mean, this is one of the flagship events of the year in the energy sector, bringing together everyone from the power sector right the way through the oil and gas and all the other new innovations coming through in the energy sectors. There's just, there's no world we can live with in where, you know, energy poverty can remain, but we hit our, our climate goals, right? So um, that's why gatherings like this is really, really important to have everybody in the room working to a solution. And people just want power. <laughs> you know, they just want to live a dignified life. And you cannot live a dignified life without energy.